Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, we will be studying Smith chart part 4. If you haven't yet watched earlier videos, then do watch the, those videos first. The question is a lossless transmission line with Z0. Z0 is characteristic impedance which is 75 ohm is 30 meter long. That is the length of line is given as 30 meters. So it is denoted by L which is given as 30 meters and operates at 2 megahertz. This 2 megahertz is the value of frequency which is 2 megahertz in terms of hertz. It is 2 into 10 raised to 6 hertz. The line is terminated with the load. ZL is given that is 90 plus J 60 ohm. If U is 0.6 C, now this is something different term. This U is same as velocity of propagation VP, velocity of propagation VP, which is 0.6 times C. C is the speed of light and value of speed of light is 3 into 10 raised to 8 meters per second. So VP will be equals to 0.6 into 3 into 10 raised to 8 meters per second. This is the velocity of propagation. Using Smith chart, find HW or reflection coefficient, input impedance and load impedance. Now, how to start? We have the basic formula. Z in is equals to ZL upon Z0. Put the values. It is 90 plus J60 upon value of Z0 is given in the question. This value that is 75 ohm. So, if you solve this calculator, as I mentioned earlier, you need to do this calculation using complex mode of calculator. So, it is 1.2 plus J.8. Since it is impedance, its unit is ohm. Now, this is the value of Z in. Here, somewhat different calculations we need to perform before starting uh, the uh, drawing graph of the Smith chart. As I mentioned, this is the value of VP. Now, we know the basic formula. Lambda is equals to C by F. C is the speed of light and F is the frequency. So, put the value speed of light is 3 into 10 raised to 8. F is the frequency which is given in the question. The given frequency is 2 into 10 raised to 6. So, it is 2 into 10 raised to 6. If you solve this on the calculator, then value of wavelength lambda will be 90 meters unit of lambda is the unit of wavelength is meters we know that we have to convert the given length in terms of wavelength how to do it given length is 30 meters so i will write it like this given length is 30 meters in terms of wavelength it is given as 30 upon value of lambda that is 90 multiply it by notation lambda earlier also we have discussed this concept whatever length is given uh, that is 30 meters is given in the question divide that length by the value of lambda and multiply it with the notation lambda whatever value you are getting in this case it is 1.3 lambda this value is known as the length in terms of wavelength so it is 1 by 3 lambda one important thing related to this numerical, if I want to convert this value in terms of degree, do remember the basic thing, 1 lambda corresponds to 720 degree on the Smith chart. This is the relation. 1 lambda is equivalent to 720 degree on the Smith chart. I have the value of L that is 1 by 3 lambda. Therefore, length that is L is 1 by 3 lambda that is equals to 1 by 3 into 720 degree therefore this length or distance is 720 upon 3 that is 240 degree. Now remaining calculations we will perform on the Smith chart. Now we will be doing calculations on the Smith chart as we have discussed in earlier graphs also this horizontal line will be taken as a reference this is origin where scale is 1.0 I will mark this point as O now we have calculated value of Z in it is 1.2 plus J.8 we know that if value of J is uh, positive we have to consider the part of J that is reactance part of J 
above this horizontal line so it is intersection of two circles 1.2 that is circle for r and point 8 circle for x this circle for x will be above this horizontal line so i will check the readings this is the circle of 1.2 where 1.2 mark is there on the horizontal line i will highlight this portion i will mark this circle it is like this then value of j is point 8 i will have to check the value of j on this chart this is point 8 value so again i will highlight this portion like this i will highlight this arc so this is the arc for j point 8 this is the point of intersection as usual we will denote it by uh, notation a now next step is consider oa before that we will draw one complete line on the graph which represent this distance oa i will draw the full line on entire graph so this is the distance uh, this is the line for oa now uh, to calculate first part is to calculate hwr to calculate the hwr what i need to do take o as a center a as a radius and draw a circle like this we know that this circle represents the circle of vswr or circle of r so this is the circle of vswr observe the point at right hand side this circle cuts this horizontal line at the right hand side at the value this is point 2 this is point 3 and this value is 2.1 so this value represents value of swr or vswr which is equals to 2.1 this is the answer of first part second part we need to calculate the reflection coefficient now reflection coefficient is denoted by k there are two parts first is mod of k that is magnitude of reflection coefficient and angle theta associated with mod of k how to calculate mod of k on the graph as i mentioned we are considering this line oa which i have already extended i am talking about this line so i need to calculate value of mod of k look at the third scale which represents angle of theta i am talking about this highlighted portion this scale which represents angle of theta so if you read the scale this theta value of theta will be this is 60 this is 58 this is 56 so for this point value of theta is 56 degrees now mark the point this o point i have already marked mark this point where this circle crosses this scale this point let us say it is denoted by point c what we have to do uh just to cross check the answers what i said earlier theoretically we need to calculate value of mod k value formula to calculate mod of k is vswr minus 1 upon vswr plus 1 simply put the values of vswr vswr is 2.1 so it is 2.1 minus 1 upon 2.1 plus 1 so answer is 0.35 let us prove it on the smith chart what i am supposed to do measure this length oa measure this length oc then the value or formula to calculate mod k is length oa upon length oc if you measure it on the graph paper it is 3.2 oa is 3.2 and oc is 9.1 cm so which is again 0.35 so value of k answer of k how to write it it is 0.35 at an angle 56 degrees now 
we have to calculate the third part that is value of input impedance just now i explained the concept of lambda and uh, uh, degrees so we got the answer it is 240 degrees that means starting from point a i have to move by angular distance 24 240 degrees how to do it i have drawn the complete line if you start rotating this point a in this direction like this then up to this point you will reach 180 degree so i will check the reading of this line on the theta scale theta scale means i am talking about this third scale this scale i am talking about it is 124 see i am not considering any signs i am just interested in value of theta what i said from a this line this line i have to move it like this from point a and i have to make a motion by an angle 240 degree we, if i will make the complete motion up to this line it will be 180 degree this line corresponds to a uh, value of 124 degrees 124 degrees total distance i have to cover is 240 degree total distance is 240 degree out of which i have covered 180 degree because if i will move from point a up to this point it will be 180 degree so minus 180 degree will be equals to 60 degree so what i mean to say up to this point as i mentioned we have covered distance 180 degree extra 60 degree i have to uh, cover but this line this line corresponds to the value of 124 degree from this position 124 degree i have to move further by 60 degree just now i explained this concept so 124 plus 60 degree will be equal to 184 degree so mark the point of 184 degree like this so this point represents the motion of 240 degree join this point with origin by a straight line wherever this line crosses vswr circle i will mark this point as point b i have to take readings of point b readings means i hope you are aware uh, two circles which are crossing this circle of radius and circle of reactance so reading of point b will be 0.47 plus j.35 this is the reading of r circle this 0.35 is the reading of j circle it is plus j so i am considering the portion above the horizontal line this is the reading of point b but actual impedance we have already discussed in many cases z in is given as z0 into this calculated value that is 0.47 plus j.35 value of z0 is given in the question this value is 75 ohm put the values so answer of this part will be 23.5 plus j 1.75 ohm this is the value of input impedance now last part load impedance how to do the calculation of load impedance we have already marked oa line we have already marked the line which is opposite to oa this portion this portion i am talking about is the line which is opposite to oa let us say this point is point d take the readings of point d again follow the same procedure if you take the readings of point d it will be Point fifty seven minus J point thirty eight. This gives value of admittance. So we have calculated value of input impedance. We have calculated value of uh, output admittance. That is, output admittance is also known as the load admittance. So that's it for today's session. Thanks for attending session. Thank you very much.